What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new episode of The Gutter to Glory. It's your boy, JK. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 subs someday. Um, end of the regular season. UAB, Southern Miss, UTSA. And it should be a good one. Coming down to the wire. One loss. We actually... After beating Rice last time out, lead the conference now. So we just need to have no hiccups on the way to the finish line as we beat Rice 56-47. That's a good game. Of course, pick six. But um, Chris Mitchell showed out 27-38, 396, six touchdowns, minus the two interceptions. It's an exceptional game. Oscar Attaway had 96 yards on the ground to go along with it. Mitchell, 81 on the ground. There, it, Luke McCaffrey on the other side, 16-23, 289, one touchdown race. Always will hold a small part of my heart. I uh, did a race rebuild a while back. Not on the channel, but in my spare time, Luke McCaffrey was awesome. Um, wow, Griffin ran for 152 and four touchdowns. Our defense got shredded by him. Number one rushing defense in the nation, by the way. Uh, this week, I think this C or, uh, this series, we'll play UTSA. But UAB, they're 1-8. and eight. We cannot, <clears throat> cannot, cannot get tripped up here. Uh, number one scoring offense in the nation. Number five in total yardage. Number five in pass offense. Number 74 in rushing yards. Number one in rushing defense. As we said, our pass defense is abysmal. But that's all right. UAB's offense is horrid. Um, conference championship the year before we got our first one, so two years ago, and now they're just terrible. Oh, that's what I wanted to look at right there. Uh, a lot of losses. The, some close games. I mean, 21-30 right here. 24-34 to Rice. So, bad team. I think it's just bad quarterback play. Carter, uh, I believe he's a sophomore red shirt. 14 touchdowns, 9 picks. The run game is pretty strong with Witherspoon. And obviously for us, Chris Mitchell and Oscar Attaway is on pace for another 1,000-yard season, which will be like his third or fourth. It'll be his third. Uh, Chris Mitchell's eighth in the nation in passing yards. Oscar Attaway, 106th. Jay Ducker, that man's going to win the Heisman. I'm convinced. Uh, Attaway's a 96 overall. Yeah, looking like it'll be his third 1,000-yard season. Couple games left, plus a bowl game, conference championship game. Hopefully, if everything goes right, a conference championship game. Uh, looking at the Heisman watch, Ducker. I would assume a big lead over Dewan Edwards. EJ Smith falling down a little bit. <clears throat> but he's averaging like 200 yards a game. So, I would not be... Surprise in the least bit. A lot of career, 70 career touchdowns. Is that close to any records? I mean, that would be cool to cool to see, even though it's not our guy. NCAA records. Uh, not season. Well, I guess we could look at season. He had 27 rushing touchdowns. Just 10 off Barry Sanders, 37. And he owns... Wow, okay, so rushing yards in a career he already owns. Uh, Rakeem Jarrett, career receiving yards. That's nuts that there's already records being broken. 88 by Keenan Reynolds, so he's 18 away. I don't... Is he only a junior? If he's only a junior, he might get it. We'll just double check. He is a senior, so unfortunately... Looking like Jay Ducker won't quite get there unless he just goes crazy the last, like, three three weeks of the regular season. Uh, and I use up there, though, so they have a chance to do some damage. And I think the MAC has a conference championship game. So in reality, yeah, they're number three in the nation. They're 9-0, so probably three more regular season games. So they have, like, five games left. It's a little over two touchdowns a game. We'll see. Um, I don't know why I backed out of that. Utah is number one. Ohio State number two. Akron is undefeated. Akron's undefeated. What the heck is going on? 
Uh, all right then, Akron's undefeated. UNLV is still undefeated. They're rolling right now. They got a good quarterback too. Brumfield, all-time yardage leader in a career. Anybody else undefeated? Not looking like it. Uh, Bama, two losses on the year. They're not gonna repeat. So this will be the first year. Actually, I think the first year Michigan State won it and then it was Bama Bama, if I remember correctly. I know it's been Bama the last two years. Award semifinalists, I don't think we're gonna have anybody anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna have anybody anywhere. Maybe in the Bolitnikov? I know uh, McBride's having a good year. Uh, not that great, 29th. Um, but soon, soon we will have an aerial assault like no other. We got some big time recruits, I think last video. Um, Willie Kirk finally committed. We got Steve Nunez and Jason Arnold. Couple of, you know, four star guys just looking for talent. Struggling to recruit a little bit. We got a lot of points. Uh, we're in the fight for Jamar Joseph still. He has a visit to Utah this week. That could sway him big time. Uh, that one will likely go into the offseason. Jonathan Fuller likely goes to the offseason. All these guys. Uh, Jeff Tucker, we've got a huge lead on. Hopefully he just commits here soon. Uh, Dallas Thompson can visit against UTSA. I think we're, yeah... Looking at a couple tight ends to fill some gaps, but other than that, that's what our recruiting board looks like. This will be it for the rest of the season, recruiting-wise. So not a great class, but we're a really young team. Still a lot of room to keep moving up. All right, so that is it for this week for the housekeeping stuff. We're going to sim the UAB game, sim the Southern Miss game, and then hopefully we're playing UTSA to kind of just finish off the regular season with not too many implications on that game. But first off, can't overlook the Blazers, UAB. It's at UAB, going to be a tough one against a 1-8 team that could spoil the party for us as a one-loss conference team. And 7-3, and three, big time win, 58-28, to 28, really just put it on them. Uh, second quarter was huge. Good job by the offense showing up. Chris Mitchell. Wow, we ran for a lot of yards. <laughs> Holy crap. Mitchell, 16 to 35, 253, three touchdowns and a pick. Sack twice, 45% completion percentage it is what it is. Oscar Attaway, 141 yards on the ground, two touchdowns. Chris Mitchell added 66 yards. Uh, Richard Martin with a touchdown. But carries gums, got to carry. I just saw that. Stephen McBride. 147 yards, two touchdowns again. He's just going off. <clears throat> the Trevion Brown, I think, had a drop. Yeah. Only reason he'd be here. And uh, Damon Ward Jr., two catches, 24 yards. <clears throat> uh, Van Pran finally gave up his first sack of the year. Defensively, Ryan Weaver had 11 tackles. I mean, the offense just, our defense went off. Williams, two picks, finally. Freeman. Ramon Freeman got an INT, and so did Sifa Leota. Did Williams take one to the house? Did he house call one? He did. Ramon Freeman, that's his first INT of the year, I think. I have to go to season stats to look at it. Uh, defensive. Ryan Weaver is far and away our best defensive player, by the way, as a true freshman. What a pickup. <laughs> um, playing huge. That's awesome. Eight tackles for loss. Four sacks to go along with it. Enoch Jackson with four. Yeah, Dylan Williams, two picks, finally. I don't. It took him all season to get the two. Matching his totals from the last two years. Defensive touchdown. That's awesome. Uh, Ramon Freeman, finally an INT. Took him all season. Again, just took him all year. Uh, hopefully this is a good good sign for the defense going forward starting to force some turnovers mukes Kyron white that's what we want to see though but a big win and i think not championship contenders not quite anyways uh rice still at five and two utsa is three and three so we just need to get through southern miss this week and again another another team struggling they're two and eight 
We just need to finish the job out east. It's looking like it's going to be Mid-10 State or Florida Atlantic. FIU was ranked, and then they lost two games, both conference games. Kind of surprising. Uh, lost to Charlotte and Mid-10, so... It'll boil down between these two, and then it's looking like it's going to be between us and Rice, which we hold the tiebreaker. We beat them. So, just need to get through this week. The rumors are getting a little louder, by the way, that Seth Luttrell is looking elsewhere for a head coaching gig. And after back-to-back -back successful seasons with the Mean Green, we're going to look at our coaching contract. 11-3 um, and three last year, back to a seven-win team this year. You know, looking like we're going to go to a, another conference championship game, all things, if all things go well down the stretch. You know, Seth Luttrell could be looking elsewhere, and that could open up a head coaching gig here at North Texas. Quick look again at the stats. Rushing defense off the chain, but Southern Miss has the number 20 rushing offense in the nation, which we've seen teams that can run the ball well, they do damage against us. Uh, Frank Gore Jr., of course, 1,100 yards on the year. Oscar Attaway is closing in on 1,000 again. Uh, I'll double-check the recruiting board. I think I need to set a visit, and then we'll run it up against Southern Miss and get ready for UTSA. All right, here we go. I don't even remember Southern Miss's thing, like the Golden Eagles or something. Need to get it done. We're just waiting on some recruits to commit. It's no biggie. But here we go. Southern Miss. Mean Green. Week 13. This one's in Denton. And a win pretty much pretty much secures it. Pretty much, I say. Uh, hopefully Rice loses this week. Put a little breathing room between us and them at the top. Big win. Big win over Southern Miss. 49-23. We're getting hot at the right time. And that is dangerous we trailed at the half but pulled away in the second half chris mitchell starting to ball out 19 of 30 375 three touchdowns 63 percent completion percentage and then 58 yards on the ground Attaway struggled but still i mean i think that i think that puts him over 900 yards so it's looking looking like he's going to get to that thousand yard mark i think richard martin had a touchdown also we have to go to the award finalists because I just saw something. And I want to see for the Remington, Cedric Van Pran. Uh, he might get there. He might do it. That would be kind of cool. Get a Remington award for Van Pran transfer. Uh, another big piece. Another big reason why we've been so good. And we had an NCAA player of the week, Chris Mitchell. 375, six total touchdowns. Went nuts against Southern Miss, and that puts us in a great position <clears throat> as Ducker. I think he's got that thing about wrapped up. 27 touchdowns on the year. I just realized, I think I said he needed 18. He was at 70, he needed 18, and uh, 18 would also break the single season record. So that would be kind of cool if Jay Ducker could do that. Not even on our team, but... You know, who cares? <laughs> it's it's cool to watch some somebody that successful. Rice still at two losses. We have UTSA this week. I mean, if we beat them, it's wraps <clears throat> on the West. And we are once again the best in the West. And it looks like mid-Tennessee State, 10-1 and one on the season, 6-1 and one in conference. They're rolling. They're number 23 in the nation. Again, another team that's hot at the right time. Top 25 polls. Oh my gosh. Where'd Clemson go? Wasn't Clemson number one two weeks ago? NIU's number one. Jay Ducker. Who says the ground attack's dead? Yost is great, by the way. 1,700 yards, 22 touchdowns, three picks. What happened? Ohio State lost to Indiana. They were number one. Clemson lost a while ago. That's right. I forgot about that. Clemson lost a while ago. Where's Utah? That's actually what I'm looking for. Where's Utah at? Utah lost too. I forgot Clemson lost like last video or two videos ago. Utah lost. Ohio State lost. 
Utah lost two games ago. They lost by five to Oregon. That's incredible. Uh, Ak Akron's number two now. UNLV's number six. They're undefeated. They're undefeated. Um, Arkansas, Mid-10 State, Oklahoma, and Eastern Carolina all joined the fray. Who else received votes? Michigan, Texas, Arizona State, UNC, Texas dropped out. Carolina dropped out. Oregon dropped out. What a just crazy end of the season here. We could have... Oh my gosh, and they're both MAC teams. They're going to have to play each other. Wow. What a wild turn of events. Two MAC teams undefeated. Going to have to play each other. Probably for the MAC championship. And the winner will... If they go undefeated, we'll go to the national championship. That's nuts. We got to get through this last week. We're playing UTSA. One last look at the recruiting board. We got a pretty big commitment this week. Jeff Tucker finally committed. So some good talent coming in. I wish we had more depth. I say more depth, but we're not out on a lot of these guys. Another corner halfback. Middle linebacker that we definitely need. Uh, we're going to stay in the fight for Dallas Thompson. And Jamar Joseph would be huge to bring in. So, that one looks like it's... That one's definitely going to go to the offseason. So, some good battles upcoming. Hopefully, we can limit those battles. Pretty decent class. I'm pretty... I'm not happy with it. But, I'll take it. Um, recruiting early in the season was a struggle. So... Hopefully we can stay in the fight in Jamar Joseph. Just, I mean, really good finesse moves. Really good play rec. He could be a good, dangerous pass rusher for us. And then the rest is depth, really. And then a couple middle linebackers that we desperately need. So, that's the recruiting news. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to rock and roll. UTSA, the number 20 pass defense in the nation, but will it hold up against the top five pass offense and the number one scoring offense we're about to find out this is to be best in the west in conference usa for back-to-back -back seasons back in denton apogee stadium reese davis was talking about how north texas is hitting their stride at the best time of the season right at the end i think we're winners of five straight utsa coin toss i think they just won it they did they're going to kick, so we're going to have the ball first. We're wearing the blackout unis again. It's time to end this season the right way, end the regular season the right way, and get into conference championship week. First drive of the game, I just realized I should have checked Oscar Attaway's stats to see how close he was to 1,000 yards, as he's going to go for 12 to start the game. 8-3 and three on the season. Again, a successful season. I wish we would have... Uh, I mean, there's all, th all three of our losses are by three points or less, so really can't complain too much as Chris Mitchell's going to get sacked. I really didn't know where to go. In last season, or already, by the way, Chris Mitchell has broken the single season touchdown record for North Texas once again. He broke it in his r freshman season. He's broken it here with 39 in the regular season. Still some time to go as Attaway picks up two. It's going to be a long third and ten. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. So this team taking form, and now we're going to have to replace a lot of pieces. As we're going to throw, and Steve McBride's going to make the catch. Or Steven McBride, excuse me. 15-yard pickup on the first. Picks up the first. But, I mean, we've really built well here at North Texas and I would not mind if Seth Luttrell did indeed leave and left us the start or the head coach position because we're going to find Lee out of the tight end spot he's got another first down almost 20 yard pickup for Christian Lee but I think I, I really enjoy what we've built here and I wouldn't mind sticking around as a head coach kind of cutting our teeth at a place where we're familiar and we've built a really good roster. We've had opportunities to go be a head coach. So I think if Latrell leaves and we get the opportunity, we're definitely going to take the head coaching gig here. But 
not opposed to moving on. Maybe after Chris Mitchell's career at North Texas ends, we'll have to wait and find out as Attaway picks up seven. But ideally, I'd like to stick around and see what, you know, this young core we built. Attaway, obviously, not a part of that. But Chris Mitchell, Clayton Gaither, Nick Newton, as speaking of the Devils, they're out there. Oh my god, and we just got pounded. It'll be another third and ten. But I mean, I would just I would like to see what we can do here. Running game's not gonna be as strong. So that'll be something that maybe we look to address down the road. Find a really good running back recruit, but the offensive line is set up to be dangerously good. And I think again, we're just we're set up for success as Attaway picks up the first again. And I just, I don't really want to go anywhere. <laughs> you know, obviously we've got plenty of time. I think it's like 80 years to sim. So I think we're just going to keep enjoying our time here and see where it goes. Ball inside the 10. We've just methodically moved it down. As you've seen, I've talked most of this drive. Good blocking out on the edge. Attaway, going to get there. We lead six to nothing. Good bid here to finish off this season with a dub. Defense got a stop. Mitchell is going to have to step up and run. Take a shot. Picks up 12. Good start to the drive. That's why I don't want to leave until we finish, you know, finish out the career of Chris Mitchell. So much fun to play with. It's just an absolute baller. As McBride picks up 11. Every time I have to scramble, I just stop talking. I just realize that. I just go mute. Third and two. This might be the last play of the first quarter. We're two for two on third downs this far. Both of those came on the first drive. Attaway is going to get there. So we'll pick up another first, and that'll be the end of the first. Or should be the end of the first quarter. In a quarter number two, still leading seven to nothing. Offense has just been very methodical. Looks like there's a blitz coming, and there was. Mitchell's gonna have to take off, and he'll pick up three. We're just moving our way, picking our way ahead. We're in no rush right now. Don't need to, don't need to risk anything. I think Rice only still has one loss, so we we have to, or one loss less than us, I should say. So we still have to win this game. We're going to be on the move again and going to get sacked. So that'll set up a third and 12. That's not good. We've picked up every third down this far. That's a lot of pressure. Pick up another one. Oh, and we're going to in big fashion. Stephen McBride down the seam. Down to the one. 43-yard pickup. That's what this offense does. Just lull you to sleep, and then they break out the big play with all the athletes. And we have the ball on the doorstep. I wish that would have just gone for six. We'll turn and give it to Attaway. Big hole. Another touchdown to the resume for Oscar. We lead 13 0. Wow, UTSA's only gained 22 yards. They're struggling. We're going to follow Richard Martin, pick up seven yards. Good carry by Oscar Attaway. It's up to 40 yards. I wonder how many he needs to get to 1,000. Second and three, we'll take a shot. I'm not opposed to a second and short shot. Going to air it out. Detrevion Brown down the sideline. Breaks two tackles. That's going to be six. That's why you take a shot sometimes. Four, I think that's the... Oh, yeah, 40th. Passing touchdown on the year for Chris Mitchell. Breaks his record from last year. He broke it last game, but up to 40 now. Sky's the limit here for three. UTSA is just going nowhere. 21 nothing. Let Attaway kind of bleed this one away. As he picks up nine, carrying bodies. Third and three. This drive has been a struggle. Attaway. Oh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that spot. That was not a good spot. If that was a first down, we should have beat Western Kentucky or at least gone to another overtime. 
Big block there. Attaway shuts a tackle and picks up another first down anyways. Attaway is up to 60 yards. 24 seconds left in the half. I was not paying attention to the clock. It's okay. We got plenty of time. Especially with this offense. Oh, almost just threw a pick. No big deal. 11 seconds left in the half. Third and 19. Let's make some magic happen. Why not? I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. Probably be an incomplete... Actually, more than likely going to be a touchdown. Just because the game's broken on Hail Marys. Oh, I didn't get the time to wait. Damon Ward, 35-yard catch. Helps the stats. If I'd have got some protection, that would probably would have been six. But 21 nothing at halftime. And they start with the ball. And they did absolutely nothing. That's what we enjoy seeing around here. The defense... Taking a stand. Wow, Chris Mitchell just got attacked. Shut up, Herbstreet. It's hard to avoid the rush when you're trying to set up a play action and nobody blit and nobody blocks. Well, third and 16. Uh, our offensive line has just forgotten how to block, and I probably just threw a pick. Nope, it got dropped. Uh, we're going to punt. Offensive line just can't remember how to block to start the half. We did not go for it on fourth down. Shut up. And uh, Gaither, of course, breaks away at the last second. After we're already running, Chris Mitchell picks up 36. That's third and nine. The uh, offensive line is starting to irritate me. I just talked them up so high. And now we're going to find Clayton Gaither over the middle. Spit move into the side the five. And that's what we have to look forward to. We've seen flashes of it all year. He's going to be a beast. 5'11". Great spin move. What is that corner doing all the way out there? You're not supposed to be all the way out there. Into the end zone. Another touchdown. 28 nothing. Second touchdown of the day for Chris Mitchell. Just a casual 233 yards. I don't know why we have the ball in the plus four, you know, 47, but I'll take it. Attaway going to get the carry to start the drive. UTSA finally scored, and I think we took the kickoff all the way back to the 50. They're about four yards away here on second down. It just seems like they're... Every time we run the ball, they just know. Because Attaway is going to get to the edge and get wrapped up by the safety, but not before he picks up a first. <sighs> if UTSA could kindly piss off, that would be nice. It's like trying to get an NFL player incentives. Trying to get Oscar Attaway to a thousand yards. McBride first down. They're ramped up the defensive aggression. That's okay. On play action. Rolls right. Throws to the receiver and Oh wow, they call okay, they called that a touchdown. I thought he caught it outside the end zone, but uh another touchdown. Chris Mitchell making it happen. All right, 35 nothing or 35 7. All right, so they must have onside it. They're, I don't. Why would you onside it? Whatever. Uh, our defense needs to step it up though. I'm not a big fan of us giving up touchdowns in the last quarter of the game. As Attaway picks up 16 to start the drive. It's up to 87 yards. But tired of giving up big, you know, scoring opportunities at the end of the game. It's kind of annoying, and yes, I'm running the same play back-to-back. -back. They can't stop it. It don't matter. Picks up three. For inside the 10, Attaway has just pummeled them all the way down the field. With 140 left in the game, we're going to punch in another one. Attaway. <laughs> oh, another touchdown. Awesome to see. Uh, that puts them up to like 100... I don't know, like 120 yards on the day. Uh, it looks like we're going to win. I don't know if we'll get the ball back or not. Hopefully we do. That'd be kind of nice. And of course, we didn't get the ball back. Oh, I completely skipped over that. I did not mean to. We'll look at pictures instead. Uh, great day. Offense. Kind of struggled at times, but we finished off the game in a good way. Shout out Oscar Attaway. 
42-14 is the final. Look at some player stats here. Chris Mitchell only threw the ball 15 times. 267 yards, three touchdowns. He got sacked five times. That's not, not good, but only 15 passing attempts. That's how good we were today. Oscar Attaway ran the ball 21 times for 117 yards and three tutties. I wonder if he's getting close to the career rushing touchdown record here, and that's why they were talking about it at the end of the game. Mitchell, 10 carries, 39 yards. Again, you wonder how many yards he would have had if he didn't get sacked five times. Uh, Steven McBride, 103 yards and a touchdown. Christian Lee had a touchdown. And Trevion Brown, one play wonder, 63 yards and a tutty. That's all he does. Clayton Gaither, 30-yard catch. Uh, this senior class has been actually a lot of fun to play with. I figured I was just going to be sick of them and want the, and trying to find any way to get the freshmen into the game, like Gaither and Newton, but they've done a really good job this year. They've been explosive. Steven McBride has stepped it up. He stopped dropping the ball, which obviously goes a long way. But yeah, that's how we're going to wrap up the regular season. I think six straight wins or something like that. Uh... Something crazy. I'll have to double check, but yeah, we're done. We are the Western champs of Conference USA, and we're going to find out who we play in the Conference Championship game here momentarily. Okay, so it's only a six game only. I say only. Only a six game win streak. Uh, I think that might have been what I said at the end of the, at the, end of the game. Uh, we'll sim through week 15. We'll get to the conference championship game. Hopefully we get some commits because I don't want to have all the offseason battles. So here we are versus number 18, Middle Tennessee State. Which, if Griff's watching, he knows. He knows. I've done, I did a, re, we turned Middle Tennessee State into a powerhouse uh, once upon a time. That defense gets a lot of takeaways. They run the ball really well, but can they stop the aerial assault is the question, and not many teams have been able to this year. Their run game, led by Peasant, funny, <laughs> uh, 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce the quarterback's name. 24 touchdowns, eight picks. Lane, yeah. Wow, 14 touchdowns on the year. Uh, he's been around forever, it seems like. But that'll be in the next video. We'll also look at all the stat leaders. We'll go through all that stuff before we hop in the conference title game. But first, thank you guys so much for watching. Regular season, I think this is season four, is done. Yeah, season four. 9 and 3 right now. Hopefully we can end up at 11 and 3 again. It's been a heck of a ride. Every every win the the the, the rumors get a little louder that Latrell's leaving. So we'll have to wait and see. But make sure to crush that like button, hit subscribe if you guys are enjoying the content, want to see more. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.